Hey adventurers, welcome back to day four of our Disney Cruise Line planning series. Today we're talking all about your key to the world card. So if that's something that you're interested in, then just keep watching. Now I have to let you guys know that I had full intention of showing you my actual Disney Cruise Line key to the world card, but we are in transition right now. We're actually living in our travel trailer while we wait for our home to be ready on December 1st. So although I did intentionally pack those key to the world cards, I put them in a place um, where I can't actually remember where they are. So we are stuck with this image of the key to the world card for me to show you. So first of all, your key to the world card is a card that you receive once you check in for your Disney cruise. And you'll use this card to get on and off the ship, you'll use it to make charges to your room, and you'll also use it to get in to your room. You can also use this card to turn the lights on in your room. So you slip this into a little key slot in your room and that's how you turn your lights on. So now let's go over the information that is actually on your key to the world card. Up here on the top is your sailing date. And then right under that, it'll say the ship that you're on. So this one was for the Disney Fantasy. This little letter here, A, means that this is an adult key to the world card. If it has an M, that would be a minor key to the world card. So they won't serve the minors any alcohol or anything. Under here in the black will be your name. And then under here, it'll let you know your castaway club number and also your castaway club category. So silver, gold, or platinum. Some quick information about being a castaway club member. As soon as you have one sailing on the Disney Cruise Line, you are a silver castaway club member. So you're silver if you cruise between zero and five. If you cruise six to ten times, you move up to the gold category, and you are platinum if you have cruised with Disney more than ten times. Now below your castaway club number, you'll see your dinner seating, so you have an option of 545 or 815. And then right beside there or below there, it will show you your dining rotation. So this dining rotation would be Animator's Palette, Enchanted Garden, Royal Court, Animator's Palette, Enchanted Garden, Royal Court, and Animator's Palette again. And over here it will tell you your table number. So these people had table 82 for their cruise. So on the bottom left here it will show you a large letter and that is your emergency meeting station. So in case of an emergency this is the emergency station that you would go to and you'll have directions to the emergency station on the back of your stateroom door. There's another number here at the bottom which is the number 23 on this card and that is just when you checked in the line you were in to get on board. Some cards will also have some letters at the top here and that will just let you know if you have a transportation set up or not. A couple more things about the key to the world card is that if you have a blue card, you're in a standard room. And if your card is gold, it just means that you're concierge level. You will need your key to the world card on you at all times and you won't be able to exit or enter the ship without it. So I suggest bringing a lanyard so that you can have it handy on you at all times. 